Hey my Revivers, welcome to the CPR Vibe and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I just got done like playing some sound healing for one of my clients and I do virtual sound healing, mentoring for meditation and all that. This is my space, okay, that I do that and I'm um, like, I have stuff around me, things around me, instruments and different things. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about the five love languages. There are five love languages and I, I, I touched on this shortly in a short and I said, no, we're going to make this a regular video. I want you guys to understand that love languages wasn't a trend. It's not something that's trendy. It's not something that was just there and somebody wrote a book. No, it is real. And we adapt to certain love languages according to how we were raised by our parents or guardians or the loved ones around us, right? So according to what we were given and what they portrayed love to be for us, we end up adapting that as adults and that is the way we feel loved. That is the way we feel someone is loving on us. So with that being said, we're gonna go in depth and I'm gonna give you an example of how when you don't know someone loves someone's love language, whether it's your child, whether it's a sibling, whether it's a um, spouse, or someone you're best friends with, you need to know a person's love language. Love language is not just for people that are in a relationship romantically. So I think I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to tell you, if you're watching this on um, TikTok, it shouldn't be this way, right? Because I have to put it up and down, right? I'm trying to do better. I've been getting some tips and tricks, but I turn my camera this way. So I'll just do another video for TikTok and send them over um, from here. So anyway, I use this story with married couples. I was married for 18 years. So I use this story with married couples. And I feel like unless you have some real wisdom and experience behind you with being a mom, with being a parent, with being a, um, well, same thing, but being um, married, a wife, all of those things. A business owner and all that you shouldn't be so many people are on social media talking and running their mouth because they hear something that sounds great and they run with it but they have no experience of these things so we're going to talk about something that is very very serious in a relationship we're just going to talk about intimate relationships at this point in a relationship i utilize this story to a married couple and i said to them you have to know the person's love language. And a lot of times you think you know it because it's stuff that'll make that person smile, the stuff that'll make that person happy. But a lot of times people don't want to hurt people's feelings or people don't really understand what their own love language is. What totally brings them a type of joy? It's a difference from happiness. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in another video. You'll probably see this whole get up. But anywho, we got two ladies. Two ladies, right? One lady is married to a man who is so wealthy there's nothing that she ever could want that he would not give her, right? Then we have another lady who's married. Now, they've both been married for some years who's married and her husband is a hard worker. He is not a millionaire. He's not wealthy, but he loves on her unconditionally. He tells her she's beautiful. He, I mean, he does all the things that most women and a lot of women do look to have in here and most men as well, right? So... The girl who is with the guy who is the freaking millionaire, he literally is giving her everything. She has everything and, and her neighbor, let's just say they're neighbors and that's what I, how I did it. It's like, girl, you get the fanciest cars, the fanciest clothes, your hair is always done and this is done and that is done. And I am just loving it. Oh, your husband just really loves you. Oh, girl, I wish. Right? So... The lady who's getting all that is like, <laughs> yeah, not really because <laughs> he's always gone and uh, yeah, you know, I miss him. I want him. I want to hear him. I want to touch him. I want to feel him. I want the quality time. I like to, you know, she wants that, right? So the girl that has that who doesn't have a wealthy husband is getting the touches when she's cooking he's coming behind her and you know kissing her on the cheek and kissing her neck and telling her she's beautiful and telling her she smells good and he likes her new dress and her new hair and all of those things right and she's like yeah girl i get all that but shoot i want me i wish i can drive in a bentley or i wish i can have that and i and this is her mindset right so both of them are ungrateful some people would say or both of them are not grateful or both of them are 
just unappreciative, right? But that's not the case. The case is the girl who grow up with getting all the love, the attention. Her father was there telling her she's beautiful, hugging her, loving on her. Mom was there. She cuddled with mommy. They had quality time. They did the things. They smiled. They interacted emotionally, mentally, physically. They did all those things. That was love to her. You could not tell her that she didn't have the best parents in the world because that's the way that they cultivated her and that's the way that they knew how to show love. They didn't have a lot of money, right? So she no love to be that. So the other girl who's getting all the love and attention and da 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 and he's telling her he loves her and she's beautiful and da-da-da-da and she's the best he's ever had and he don't want nobody else. He's telling her all the things, right? But she grew up in a family where every time something new came out, daddy wasn't around, mama wasn't around, they she had both her parents. Listen to what I'm saying. She had both of her parents in the same house. But mama was a doctor. Daddy was a lawyer. Or you get what I mean? And so they were always gone. And so it was always not hot meals on the table. She could order what she want, get what she want. And she had the things. The new sneakers, the new iPads, the new... She had the newest of everything. She had the latest of everything. And to her, she don't know nothing but what her parents showed her. So that was love. So now, her love language is gifts. The other lady's love language is affirmations and physical touch. She's not getting that because all she's getting is gifts. All she's getting is the things. And guess what? She still feels neglected. She still feels like he don't love her. Something just is not right. Something just is not right and she can't put her finger on it. And so now she goes inside and she's she's questioning, am I being ungrateful? I have everything, but why am I not happy? Because you have to realize the love language is not a joke. It is serious. And unless you are able to identify your love language, you cannot show someone how to love you. No one is a psychic. You have to understand what brings love and joy and peace to you. Everybody cannot adapt to you just because of their age or just because they've been around a long time they can't read your mind so you have two women in two situations where most people are like oh i wish i had that and that would be enough for me well that's because that's love to you so you you can relate to the girl getting that and you think she's ungrateful because you feel like that's love and you can relate to the girl getting everything and you feel she's ungrateful because you feel like she's being loved. Realize love languages are serious and unless you are doing the things that that person needs to feel love, you're going to be like, I feel like I just can't do enough for this person. This person it is no matter what I do, it's not enough, but you're not doing things that they need you to do it's not what you feel you should do that's where the conversations come into play that's where knowing your person comes comes into play that's when paying attention to their moves what makes them smile what makes bright them um their days brighter what makes them excited or or want to voice their feelings and emotion what is it what is it that's what you should pay attention to because if you don't there's nothing you can do To make that person feel loved in that relationship until you love them the way they need to be loved. Stick to your script because you are the best at it. Shh, do work. Don't talk about it, just do it. Don't let anything you can't control control you and you know what I mean? Check out my other videos. I have hundreds of videos on this channel. Share them. I'm going to try to do better with doing stuff on TikTok and stuff like that, but yeah. I hope this was helpful. Talk to me in the comments because you might have been through this or seen somebody go through this and didn't understand and you thought, because I've been there. I'm like, oh, they're ungrateful. I wish I had. That's because I was receptive to that, what they were getting, and that was love to me. Not the same for everybody. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Later, my revivers.